So guys, okay, sorry, Woody here. So we have another headset coming summer 2019. We're talking about Odin VR from Deus VR. That is pretty much this uh, red name for a Russian company that is entering in the VR market with a business-oriented, uh, prosumer-oriented VR headset. So let's see together what we know about it right now. And also we're gonna be able to check it out at CES very soon because I think I'm gonna attend there at CES but I don't know if I'm gonna be able to go around so much for work, but let's talk about it. Let's see like how the VR market is going right now and what's so different from all the other players. Let's get to the computer right now. Okay, so here we are on the computer, here we are on the website, and this is the Odin Pre. Uh, this is a Deus VR um, headset that we're gonna expect at CES from January 8 to 11 in Las Vegas. I'm gonna be there for work, probably. I'm not really sure that, but I should be there. So I don't know if I'm gonna be able to just go around and uh, cover everything as I would, but uh, that is an option. So we'll be so glad to be able to check this out for sure. Maybe I can just hop in, try and give you an impression. That's what I would like to do for sure, because I really want to cover a little one of the biggest conference in the world. By the way, this is the headset. There's not much to say from the website because the press kit for some reason doesn't work, even keep clicking. And over here, like uh, using Google Translate to say that uh, if you wanna have more information about the headset, but if you are entered, there's uh, like an error to say like, uh, hey, the email is not valid, something like that. This time I'm gonna use Upload VR and Road to VR. They've wrote articles about it. So we're gonna be able to see it a little better. So this is the headset, by the way, as you can see, we have headset controller and lighthouses, these uh, tracking station that actually are not really the tracking station when we expect, are not the valve tracking station, but is a proprietary technology that is called Aorus and seems to be even better than the valve technology. Here we're talking about 200 square, square feet meters that is like a 45 by 35 feet, so like a very huge area with just two station base station and that's just amazing also in the other article they're saying that you can put like infinite base station and uh, that makes it even more interesting for like vr arcades or like uh, big fairs and stuff because here we are talking about anyway a prosumer a business oriented VR headset like pretty much all we're seeing lately and uh, it's not so great for consumers but uh, well is the technology is improving in some way even slower sometimes than what we expect even if it's very fast improving but this is the situation now uh, they're saying something they're saying that this prayer will come before in 3d OF, so just three degrees of freedom for the controller with a single controller and then it's gonna arrive with the double controllers. Well, that's very interesting because means probably that they're not ready yet with this tracking uh, device, so they're not gonna be able to track it yet, but it gives a hint also the fact that probably the headset itself has incorporated accelerometer, barometer, and everything to give you at least a 3D OF experience. Even if you don't have the base station, you're gonna be able to use it anyway for like uh, demos of experience and something like that. But let's talk about an interesting very interesting thing actually the most interesting thing about this Aorus Pre well we're talking about the screen it seems like we have a 4k screen at 1260 by 1260 now upload VR saying that is an AMOLED uh, here instead we're talking on road to VR we're talking about an LCD so we have to like get to them and probably we're gonna discover more at CES for that but still this is an impressive, impressive resolution. Anyway, 90 Hertz, so like the regular refresh rate, and also an FOV of 110. And now what you're saying is like, oh, come on, another 110 FOV. Yes, actually I could say the same because like it seems like the market is moving in a different way, but having that resolution on that FOV will mean a lot of PPI, so a pixel per inch, so an the resolution increase so much more than what we are expecting. At the end of the day, we have the Vive Pro or the Samsung Odyssey Plus that is 1440 by 1600. So here we're talking about a like bump 
in resolution that is very very high like actually almost double uh, that resolution will let you have like probably no SDE at all like the screen door effect will be very hidden without using technology like we've seen and the Samsung or this plus is layering from the screen to make it disappear so we talked about the controller they are very similar to uh, the oculus touch so i will expect exactly the same and here we have also an head strap and strap is very similar to the one on the Nenet explorer doesn't seem so rigid and everything many people love the halo style and i'm i'm okay with it i'm not a lover of it but uh, it works it's very easy to put in and out and that's great for business also, what we have to say is like, I don't see RP the adjustment of any button from the view that we have of the device. So it could be integrated with like a eye tracking, maybe because of the high price, the price point is higher, or maybe it's not just in a mock-up because this is not a picture, but is made on the computer. Now, another thing that we have to talk about, and this is going to use the virtual link USB cable. And this is how the technology is going. Like if you don't know about it, I made a video a long time ago about the virtual link technology that is like a consortium of all the bigger like uh, players in technology. They came together to have just one cable for everything that is so much better than like put like stuff in every time. So this is going to be very interesting for the consumer version so now the price the estimated price that they're saying now is $1,100 we don't really know if it's gonna be the price the final price but seeing how the market is going is kind of expected for like these uh, higher resolution headsets and uh, being like uh, with the new technology for tracking at the end of the day we saw the Pimax that is gonna eat pretty much the same price if you want to to put inside the base station and have tracking and controller because 7.99 to start is already a pretty high price point so this is going to be a pretty much a competition for the vive pro from what i see where you have higher resolution but pretty much the same experience that you had with the vive also the controller is going to be pretty much is exchangeable because you have the same button but even if they are really similar to the one on the oculus touch so this is the situation, this is this Deus VR. Uh, I think that is very interesting for the fact that they're pushing the resolution on that FOV because if you want to look at details, you don't usually need like a super wide FOV. Think about like a medical and stuff. You have to analyze something in VR. You need to concentrate to a part and having a higher resolution at that point will be very interesting for, of course, that kind of business or other business that probably I don't know about. Now, this is not gonna be like the headset that we are all waiting for. It really depends also on the price, what it's gonna be. And having a resolution like that will be harder also to run it on our graphic cards. Other than that though, it's very interesting. I love the fact that new players are getting in and I can wait to really try to check it out at CES soon for you guys and see all together what is this all about. Now, the 6DOF experience will be for sure interesting. The 3DOF, I don't really think that is a great choice, but probably they want to push in the market before it's even ready for the tracking system because going for a new tracking system, of course, takes a lot of time and expenses on a money wise so will be interesting to see anyway what we're talking about for all the other details of course we're gonna rely on ces and um, other than that guys let me know what do you think about this higher resolution but same fov uh, with the lenses like fresnel lenses like the htc vive uh, but with the virtual link technology and a new tracking technology do you think that is a right move do you think that these is a step forward or just uh, staying there and uh, live on the safe VR way and try to get another headset to the market? Let me know in the comment below because for me it's interesting. I don't see it like the, this big step in the next generation, but I think that the higher resolution would be great for many people that I really need to see as much details as they can and of course the resolution is needed because you can't go like to read like a little text far without it so this is the situation again if you like the video like if you didn't like the video dislike subscribe to the channel for more about vr and tech in general see you guys in the next video thanks for watching ciao